This series of videos, we're going to be comparing the Behringer Wing, which is a 48 console, to the Midas Pro 2C, which is a 96K console, to the Digico S31, which is a 96K console, and we'll also be comparing in this series the Midas M32, which is a 48 console. So at the end of the video, I explained how we did all of the routing to make sure that the sources are all the same. We'll be using our XTA piece, and I'll explain at the beginning of each video which button is which and let you guys listen. Just kind of let us know what you think. And after we finished all the videos, we'll let you know what we think. Please listen with some high quality headphones and make sure that you have good internet connection. That way you've got full bandwidth. You don't want to be listening to this with anything compressed, but thanks a lot and enjoy. All right, today we're going to be comparing the Midas M32 to the Behringer Wing that just came out. So the Behringer Wing is going to be on A, and the Midas M32 is going to be on B. Both of these consoles are being ran in AES input, so it's not being analog. It's all going to continue being digital. So just please listen, enjoy, and let us know what you think.
right, so I wanted to give you guys a very clear, solid explanation of how we are going to be getting all of these sources to each one of these consoles that we are testing in these next few videos. So we have an iPhone 8 Plus that is going into the Midas Pro Series. This Pro Series is a 96K console. It's one we're very familiar with the way it sounds. And you guys will be very interested in the difference in some of the sounds of these consoles. But we're going into the Midas Pro Series inputs on the back. We have it stereo linked. As far as EQ, it is off. And then I have the output left, right is just summed to all the outputs on the back of this console. As you can see, I've got the EQ off on it. There's nothing else. And coming out of the back of the console, we have the outputs on the local output. That way we're not using any AES conversion going to boxes or going to each one of these consoles. So the inputs itself goes to it, a pair goes to there, a pair goes to the Digico, and a pair goes to the M32. So we have every single one of them. We made sure that we kept left and right separate and it's uh, gonna be the same left-right comparison on each one of the consoles. That way nothing else is different. And then on the wing here, we have it stereo summed to this fader. I have it selected. You can see the EQ is completely flat. And then we are going to select left-right and EQ is flat. There's no compression. There is nothing going on. It's just straight into that console. So now over to the M32, we have our thing here and I'm about to turn that EQ off as well and then there's probably gonna be a little bit of EQ nope already turned it off on the main outs so it is summed to these and then we were right under negative 10 and I've got these set to where uh, there is a gain difference on the consoles but we have it to where it audibly will sound the same so then over to our S31 the Digico as you can see here actually we'll say right now we're on left right where you can see it none of the EQ is turned on, you can see. And this is the way they come. This roll off is well above 20,000. So if you can hear that, good for you. I wish I could hear above 20K. So this is gonna be the EQ for the actual channel. And you can see that it is flat as well. And then if you really want me to, we'll go ahead and go into our layers, select the masters, and then you can see same on everything. So nothing's touched. There isn't any type of uh, reverb. There's no type of compression. And it's amazing some of the trails of the difference on reverb. There's a lot of reverb trail difference between these consoles. So in these uh, following videos, this is just kind of an overview of letting you hear how we got these comparisons. I'm putting it at the end of the video. That way you didn't have to listen to this before you listen to the difference of it. So I didn't want to have to explain in a ton of videos in the comments how we did this. And each one of these is going to be running using AES into our XTA switcher. So that way there's no analog to uh, AES comparison unless we do a video that has all four of these compared at the same time. We're going to have to have one running analog. So there's the XTA. And we are just going to be simply switching between A, B, and C. So have, I hope you had fun. Please hit like and subscribe. Since we actually use music that is not copyright free, there's no way that we can monetize this. So please give us a call if you ever need any gear. We can get you great deals on almost anything and uh, definitely take care of you. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.